Hello everybody, this is Little in Hawaii. I'm busy today um, finishing up some projects and this one is really really simple and I didn't know whether to film it or not because it's just a simple bag with its own pouch. So this is the pouch that goes in the bag and I thought I'd show you how I assembled the pouch my easy way. It's one piece of fabric and I just folded it. This is the inside. I folded it. So there's the fold on the bottom. And I sort of guessed about, oh, two centimeters, I suppose, of a hem at the top. And I've just sort of folded that down. The first thing I did, I've left it this way for you to see, is I searched, or you could just overcast or stitch, down the sides, on both sides. Then I turned it inside out, and then the next step was stitching again. So I stitched again to make it, I think it gives it a nice little extra professional look, you might say. So I'm going to sew this side, and meantime, at the top, I've put some old lace, and it's on back and front. I also, by the way, have cut two straps, and this one's ready to be turned, so I'll show you that. And here's one that I've already sewn and turned. So those are the straps. So that's all that's needed. I have the straps, and then I have the bag on the outside, of course, and then I made this zippered pouch to go inside for, you, you know, the loose items in your bag, in your tote bag. It's a tote. So I'm just going to give this a little press and then sew down that side. I've got a very small workspace, so it's kind of crazy. And the other thing I did make was the decoration for the bag, which is this. So I'll show you that in just a moment. First of all, I'm going to sew down there. I've got my coffee here. I hope I don't spill it. It's quite early in the morning here. I wonder if I could have the camera focused on here. Oh well, I'll try and do that on the machine for the next one. So anyway, there's the side sewn beside on the inside and now it's sewn on the outside and the same on this side and then I've got the hem at the top that I have to finish and on this side I like to um, stitch it first and then then finish sewing up there so I'm going to see if I can put the camera over further let me see need that there particularly. So, yep, yeah, there you go. All right, so now I'm just finishing sewing. I have not sewn right around this, so I'm going to sew around this. And that's before I put the handles on. It's surged, by the way. I don't need to turn it under because I've already surged it. So, it's clean finished. Sometimes I'll do this by hand, but when it's one of these quick totes, I try to do as much as I can, you know, by machine. Okay, so I've sewn that around. It's all done, all done. I like this. It's um, it's a lace. I'm not sure what kind of lace. It's old. It's an old piece. I had it for years and I really don't know, but I like the texture of it. Okay, now I do have to just see how I sewed right to the end, and I haven't done that on this one. It's very thick to get through, but I'm going to try it anyway. I've got red fingers because I was painting and I can't get it off the paint that I had.
it'll wear off today, but right now I can't get the paint off. It's kind of over, like, almost like a dye. Okay, so that's that. So that's basically the bag. Let's see. So there's the little bag. And I must tell you the size. Forgot to do that. It is... 11 inches wide and 10 inches tall. Now the next thing is to do the straps. So as I said, I've already done one strap. I'm not going to sew down the edges of the strap. And I have the second strap here. Let me move this back a bit. I'll just move that away because I think you can see better. I know you know how to do this anyway, but we go. So I've got a safety pin on already. I've already sewn and surged down the side and it was um, three inches wide to start with. So now I'm just going to turn it with a safety pin. And usually what I do is a safety pin but if it's something really narrow I've got one of those turners sort of things. This fabric being like a chintz, it is hard to um, pull through in a way, but I'm managing, okay. Oops, I don't want to burn that. The, I'm keeping the iron on so I can show you when it's ironed. But I normally don't like to sew with the iron on the same table because I either burn myself or burn something else. I'm getting there. Gosh. Oh, this is hard. Oh, goodness me. Okay, so there's the other strap. Sometimes I just put one, just depending on the style I'm sort of choosing. So here we go. Okay. Oh, where is it? Here it is. There. The way I'm doing this is I'm putting the seam, one of the well, the one and only seam on the side of the tube. Okay. So that much is done. I don't think I need the iron again, so just for security, I'm going to remove the iron. Now, I usually put the straps about, oh, what is that, about two to two and a half inches in from the sides. So, I'm going to put one like that, and I do pin them. And notice I'm slanting it inwards a little bit, and this goes this way. Let me see, is that about right? Yeah. Just eyeballing it. So that's one, and that will be like that, and then I match the back. Okay, so let's see, this goes here. we go that's for the and then 
on this side. Wait, I've got that wrong. Oh no, that's okay. Is that right? I wanted to put the seam. No, I want to put the seam on the outside. Make sure it's not twisted. Okay, so this, there are the straps attached, and I've decided already this is going to be my front, and I made a flower already to go on it, and that flower, and that's an early decoration. So I thought if you're interested, you, I don't know if you are or not, but. At the end of this, I'll show you how I made the flower. Next thing is to sew the straps on. I want to make sure that I don't sew it, you know, and get them all caught in the machine. And I'm just sewing the strap. And I'm not going to go right around. I've gone around enough times, I think, so that's so now I'm sewing the second strap it cut off my um, thing cut off my machine cut off so I have to start it up again. I hope it works. I'll have to join these videos together. And believe me, I'm very amateurish. I have primitive equipment. <laughs> oh dear. There's some sort of a timer I've never figured out on the camera, and it cuts off after, I don't know whether it's 15 minutes or something. I haven't figured that out at all because it's never the same twice. Okay, so this is the third strap and I'll cut the strings off later. And then this is the last one. And of course I backstitched on both. Okay, so that's that. Now, all done. So there's the little bag. Very cute. Very cute. Just handy for, you know, a little bit of flea market shopping or something like that. And um, by the time I get that on there, it's going to look very pretty. Let me put that there. I wanted this kind of flower so it didn't poke out and get in the way when you were shopping or something because if the flowers are too big and bulky they often will catch on things I've found and so this one is going to this one is going to lie pretty flat. Almost looks like a sort of a yo-yo doesn't it? And then as I say I made a matching little pouch I like to offset the zipper and that'll go inside. So that's that set right there. So I'll just put this aside and I'll show you quickly before the camera clicks off again how I make actually what I'm going to do is remove the press cloth I'll get glue on it for sure. Okay. Okay, well, I can't do much with that yet. Okay, so what I need is three pieces, and if I'm making it with the chintz, like the bag, I'll use a piece of, before I even sew up the bag, I'll cut a strip off like that. I cut a thin strip, it's about an inch wide, off one edge so that I've got enough to coordinate the flower, you know. 
So that's what I do. So this is because I don't have that anymore. So here's what you need. You need, and it's about mm, 15 inches of the base color. And then you need a, a white linen of some sort, thin. Oh, here we go. Sorry. Let me start that again. Okay, so you need about 15 inches, and that's about an inch, an inch and a quarter wide. wide and I hand sewed it, hand gathered it up with big steps. And then this is the next one you need. Did the same. It's all hand gathered. And then this is the center one, which is the lace one. And that goes in the center. And then, of course... I painted a button. I didn't have a button to match, so I painted a button to go in there. So I'll show you how I assemble it. I take a piece of cardstock. Now, of course, you could use felt or batting or something. I don't. For this, I don't. And then I just put a lot of glue on it. When I say a lot, I mean a lot. I like this glue, but boy, is it hard to push out. Okay, there you go. I probably need a bigger cut across the top of it. So I take the, the first one. And I put it on the glue. Like that. And I sort of squish it around to where the gathers are you know, pretty much how I want them. And I form it into a circle with about an inch diameter, two and a half centimeters inside. So that's for the next layer. Then I pick up this layer and I push that into there. So that's my next layer. already looks pretty cool and then the last layer I can either put the glue on this or in this but I usually do this you have to really play with it um, you know to get it how you like but when I gathered these up I overlapped them a bit like that to start and then did the stitching so it's already joined another one of those flowers, shabby, shabby chic. And the card is great on the back. You can trim it off, and I often will trim off the corners and sort of round it a bit before it dries. Um, but if you're gluing it onto something, it, it holds very well. And so that's how I usually do them course you can play with this you can poof it up more you can you know do do whatever you want to make it look a little different but that's my flower anyway I'll just give you a look at the items I finished today it's this well I didn't finish this today I had finished this before so that's that that's the zipper pouch that goes inside the tote. Cute little tote. So it's a nice set, you know, with... I'm thinking now of Christmas ideas. And during the next couple of months, I'm going to make some sort of nice item that I feel like would be good for Christmas, good for... Um, I think either your mother or grandmother or friend or something for Christmas. So this would be an idea. Not It's not Christmas colors. I don't want to use Christmas colors for everything. But um, that's what I'm planning to do. So if you keep watching my channel, you will see other simple. I want to keep them simple. Simple sewing, that's good. I do a lot of involves sewing and embroidery and stuff but I want to keep these to where most people can make them and a lot of them will be made with um, 
my Japanese folding techniques and um, I hope you'll keep watching but stay well everybody won't you bye for now this is Lilo goodbye